So we're here at the Cambridge Science Festival and for two weeks every year scientists all around Cambridge offer an amazing program of events and activities for children and for adults. And this year at the Cambridge Stem Cell Institute where I work um, we wanted to offer a really unique and different event. And we came up with an activity involving robots from EPFL. So we have developed a scientific activity um, using these robots and Dr. Elisa Laurenti is going to explain how this works and Dr. Stefan Maniera is going to explain the technology behind the robots as well. Um, but the activity today has gone really, really well. The kids are really enjoying it and learning a lot about the science as well. I'm Elisa Laurenti and I'm a principal investigator at the Cambridge Stem Cell Institute and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science that's behind the activity that we've done this year at the Cambridge Science Festival. Stem cells have the unique capacity to milk all the cells in our body. There are two major types of stem cells. First, pluripotent stem cells that give rise to all of our organs in the embryo. Then, adult stem cells, one type per organ or tissue, that maintain all the cells within that tissue in normal conditions or in case of injury. Both types of stem cells all great promise for medicine, and we can think of many ways of using stem cells to prevent or improve the treatment of major diseases. But first, we need to understand how pluripotent and adult stem cells are regulated and also how they make the decision to produce a particular type of mature cells in a process that scientists call differentiation. During the differentiation, stem cells usually divide to produce daughter cells that become more and more specialized towards a particular cell type. And while they do so, they gradually lose the capacity to make the other cell types. We have made much progress in identifying which factors push stem cells to commit towards a particular cell type. And we can now program stem cells to differentiate in a dish by adding a certain number of key factors at the right time in the decision-making process, thus recapitulating what happens in the embryo or in each of our adult organs. So to introduce children to stem cells and how they can differentiate into any cell in the body, we have designed an interactive activity where we are using educative robots that the children can program to become their cell of choice. I'm Stefan Manina. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at EPFL in the group of Professor Francesco Mondada. This is the group uh, who developed the Timio robot that you can see in this activity. And I will briefly explain how we use the Timio robot in this activity to show uh, some concepts from stem cell science. In the beginning of the activity, the child draws a barcode. This code represents the differentiation factors that will decide to which organ the stem cell will develop into. Once placed on the board, the robot reads this code. The robot, representing the cell, takes a certain time to do its first differentiation. During this time, the cell is still undifferentiated, which is represented in this activity by the changing color of the robot. At the first differentiation point, the cell becomes ectoderm, mesoderm or endoderm. After this step, the cell has a smaller number of possible development outcomes. This is illustrated in this activity by the only two possible colors of the robot at that point. After the second differentiation, the destination organ of the cell is fully determined, hence the robot has a single color. At the end of the activity, the robot stops at a given organ. This activity uses the Timio robot, a programmable open source educational robot. This activity uses the two infrared ground sensors of the robot. The first one measures the grayscale intensity of the track, allowing the robot to follow the path. The second one reads the barcode and the black marks showing the forks in the path allowing the robot to take the right directions at the differentiation points. Over two days, around 800 children aged 3 to 12 took part in this activity. The feedback was extremely positive, with children and parents alike asking questions about the biology of stem cells as well as the technology behind the robot. We believe that such an interdisciplinary approach can be extended to explain other biological principles to a wide audience in a fun and interactive way.